Hey, what up, dudes? Hope everybody out there had a great Thanksgiving. Today's video, now I get this uh, question a lot from my clients when we're out on the boat. The question is, hey, can I grab this fish and take the hook out? Or do I need to use pliers or a hook out or something like that? And after running, 2,000 fishing charters. Last Monday was my 2,000th fishing charter that I personally ran. I've come up with five fish that I would not grab with my bare hands, and I do not grab with my bare hands. And this keeps me from having trips to the ER, getting sliced up, getting infections, and different stuff like that. And it's not what you think. I'm not here to tell you that a, don't grab a shark or a barracuda. These are five normal fish that I would not grab. Fish number one, and this is a fish that I'm always gonna use some sort of a hook out or a pair of pliers to take the hook out of this guy's mouth. And that is a mangrove snapper and or red snapper, really any type of snapper species. Uh, the reason why, everything on these guys can either poke you or slice you or bite you. They have a very, very sharp gill plate that if you try to grab the snapper, it's gonna slice your hand with the with the gill plate. Uh, if, if the gill plate misses you, they've got extremely sharp fins. Every fin on their body is like needles poking into you. Can, I cannot tell you how many times over the last nine years as a fishing guide that I've had to get snapper fins pulled out of my hand. And it ain't ever gonna happen again because I don't grab them by hand anymore. And the last reason is, man, these snapper are called snapper for a reason. They actually try to bite you when you reach down to take the hook out of their, hand, uh, their mouth. And I had a mangrove snapper two years ago latch onto my thumb. <laughs> literally latch onto my thumb when I was trying to take the circle hook out of his mouth and he wouldn't let go. It took both of my clients with pliers to pry his mouth off of my thumb. Now think about 20 or 30 or however many teeth they have, razor sharp teeth going into your thumb. That's what I had to deal with and it was not fun and I will never do it again. So number one is a snapper. Always use a pair of pliers or gloves when handling a snapper to keep you from getting your hands cut up. Now fish number two and you're gonna think, man, really Brent, Boy, are you serious? Now again, after running 2,000 fishing charters, these are the five fish that I've had more problems with over the last nine years with either having to send, take my clients to the hospital, or me having to go to the hospital, friends having to go to the hospital. So uh, yes, this next fish, fish number two, is a speckled trout. So if you're ever fishing for speckled trout with a hard plastic like a Meridine or some sort of a Merilure, which we all do, when you go to grab that speckled trout, it's like grabbing a bar of soap and you do not, I have had more clients and myself get treble hooks through my hand grabbing speckled trout than any other fish that swims. And what happens is you get this trout in the boat, he's got that mirror lure dangling out of his mouth, and you reach down and grab him, and his first move is he flips just like this, and that bar of soap slides up and down, and boom, that treble hook, just gets lodged in your hand. And it's, I've had, I actually had a client, my second year guiding, have to have two different surgeries on his hand to get a mirror lure out of his hand from a speckled trout. With that being said, if you're fishing with live bait, you're using a kale hook or a circle hook, you don't have to worry about it. You can usually grab the fish and yank it out with a pair of pliers or something. Fish number three. Now this fish I never grab with my bare hands. I don't care what the situation is. I always pin him to the boat with a knife or a pair of pliers and then take another pair of pliers and yank the hook out of his mouth and then throw him overboard. And that's a hardhead saltwater catfish. I've, I've been stuck by saltwater catfish before and it's one of the most uncomfortable feelings that you will ever have out there fishing. If you're out there and you're having a great day on the water and you know, you're, you're catching fish, the weather's beautiful, all of a sudden you catch a catfish and he sticks his fin anywhere into your body, your day is ruined. You're either gonna have to go to the hospital and get uh, or and get on some sort of antibiotics because of the poison 
tennis pin or you're just gonna crawl up in a little ball because it's so painful. Like it does not feel good at all. And so I'm very, very careful with these saltwater catfish and that is fish number three. Fish number four that I'm extremely careful with and, and this actually causes more injuries than a lot of the fish out there. It's because people don't know how to grab them. If you know how to grab them, then you can grab them. And I do grab these fish, but if you grab them in the wrong place, they're gonna bite you. And that is a baby shark. That so many times you'll get these two foot shark, three foot shark up to the boat and you'll, people will wanna grab them and they'll grab them somewhere in the body. And when they do, that shark will reach up. I've seen them bite people in the shoulders, bite people in the arms. And when they do that, it's bad. It's real bad. So here's what my suggestion to you would be is to grab them behind the head. Watch how I do it right here. This is how you put a shark to sleep. This is where I grab all of them. And you're never gonna have that problem. Boom, right there. All right, he's done. Night, night. There he is, man. Nice shark. Rub his belly like this. They like that a lot. <laughs> All right, now toss him in the water. Sweet. So as you can see right there, guys, that was super easy. I grabbed the shark behind the head, turned him over, put him to sleep, and I can take a pair of pliers in and yank the hook out, put him back in the water, he swims off. You're never gonna have a problem with a small shark like that. So never grab a shark by the tail or the body. That is the worst thing that you can possibly do. Fish number five, and I will never grab this fish again because I actually had to go to the ER and get a fin pulled out of my hand because it was so deep that I couldn't get it out myself. Uh, it almost got infected. It was a really bad situation. I've had clients get fins in their hands and I've known of other guides actually getting their hands infected by these fins because it's just so easy to get stuck by these guys and that is a sheep's head. Now during the month of March here in Pensacola, Florida, we have the sheep's head run and they come in in herds of like hundreds of fish and so we're catching sheep's head on a daily basis and I am very, very careful how to handle these fish. They have extremely sharp spines all over their body and they're so tough man. A sheep's head is a really tough fish so when you try to grab it if you don't have gloves then it's hard to get a hold on these guys and you're gonna lose handle on them very easy and they're gonna throw one of them fins into your hand or body or somewhere and it's not good. Another thing is uh, a sheep's head will bite you and they're uh, man they have an extremely powerful bite. Their main diet or shellfish and crabs and they, they're always crunching stuff man so if you stick your hand or finger anywhere near their mouth they will literally try to bite your thumb off so keep away from sheep said wear some sort of a glove use a tool be careful there is so much bacteria in the water now and every week I'm hearing more and more people are having to go to the hospital or the ER because they're getting just some sort of a bacterial infection in their hands and it's from getting stuck by these fish. You don't have to get stuck by these fish. Put on a pair of gloves or use some sort of a tool. Just be careful. Uh, you know how you're gonna get stuck by a fish? Freaking grabbing the fish when you're not supposed to. All right, so those five fish that I just named, just stay away from. Now there's a bunch of other honorable mentions and I may uh, name those in another video, but those are the five right there that I'm really, really careful. And from running 2000 fishing charters, uh, those are the five that I came up with that have caused me the most problems over the last nine years. Guys, if you enjoyed that video, shoot me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Again, I hope all of you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. You guys have a great week. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.